we have ourselves two pieces of Montreal Canadiens related news to talk about today. It's out with the old and in with the old, I, I, I guess, if you want to take it literally. Today we're talking about two players, one of which is not a Montreal Canadian, and the other of which is indeed a Montreal Canadian. Let's start off with the more interesting news, first and foremost. Today we're talking about Russian defender Alexei Marchenko, a guy who has been linked to the Montreal Canadiens for quite some time now. Now, if that name sounds familiar, it actually should if you are a hockey fan, because Alexei Marchenko is a 28-year-old right-handed defenseman playing for CSKA Moscow in the KHL. He was drafted all the way back in 2011 by the Detroit Red Wings and eventually did suit up for both the Red Wings and the Grand Rapids Griffins. Eventually, then, he made his way over to the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was in their system for a little bit in 2017. But for the past few seasons, Marchenko has migrated back over to Russia, where he was a defenseman for the CSKA Moscow, most recently putting up 21 points in 60 games played. Now, why exactly is Alexei Marchenko being brought up in Montreal Canadiens discussions? Well, it's because... A teammate of his is somebody that a lot of Montreal Canadiens fans are very, very excited for. Marchenko's teammate in this case, the one that we are recognizing, is a guy that you probably are a little bit familiar with. His name is Alexander Romanov. Yeah, that's right. Alexander Romanov, one of the top Montreal Canadiens prospects, a guy who has been rumored to be coming to Montreal for the past few weeks ever since the season paused up. This is a tweet from Igor Aranko from February 19th. There's a chance that Alexander Romanov comes to Montreal with Alexei Marchenko next year. It would be great, especially since Marchenko could help Romanov a lot in knowing English and NHL systems. Now, this news is back from February, and back then, Face Off with Farron Holtz made a great video detailing the relationship between these two and how it could essentially be extraordinarily beneficial for all the parties involved, Romanov, Marchenko, and the Habs in the fanbase, if it were to transpire. However, this was back in February, so it's not something that I chose to cover on the channel. We instead mostly talked about Caulfield and we talked about Alexander Romanov by himself. But earlier in this week, Andrew Zetarnowski, a writer for Habs News and Rumors, and he also talks on TSN 690 quite a bunch, he posted this tweet earlier in the week saying that Alexei Marchenko confirmed he will not be re-signing with CSKA Moscow, and that he will become a free agent. He has 121 games of NHL experience with Detroit and Toronto, and the Montreal Canadiens were rumored to be interested in this right-handed defenseman. Furthermore, this idea was pushed forward by Puck Report 12 on Twitter. They have 4,000 Twitter followers. A lot of people that I know follow this news outlet on Twitter. They further pushed down the point that the Montreal Canadiens were interested in getting Alexei Marchenko. And because this tweet came out as well as the previous one we talked about, my timeline on Twitter has been filled with Habs fans talking about Marchenko, how he could play on the right side, how he could be the third pairing right-handed defenseman on the back end behind Shea Weber and behind Jeff Petrie, and how overall getting a guy like Kovalchuk back, getting Romanov in the system, already having signed Demchenko and adding a Marchenko as well, could turn this Montreal Canadiens team into a newly formed Russian powerhouse. How funny is that when taking a look at what Nikita Sherbak said a few years ago about how the Montreal Canadiens don't like Russians. It's surely is a sight to behold, isn't it? So with this idea in mind, it would be very interesting to take a look at the possibilities as to what could happen to the Habs decor for next season if they add an experienced NHL, KHL veteran in Alexei Marchenko to their right side and a brand new shiny Alexander Romanov to their left side. A lot of people will cite Romanov's point production and say that, oh, it's not that great. Well, you want a guy who can score points? Marchenko did just 
just that, 20 points in 60 games played this past season in the KHL. Certainly not a bad number. Now, that doesn't immediately guarantee NHL success, of course, but it's better to see that number than to see a number that is much lower. So, with the way things are going right now, there could be a legitimate shakeup to the Montreal Canadiens' decor going into next season. And having a new element of Russian guys on the team, bringing Kovalchuk back as well, there could be somewhat of a camaraderie built around the team that hasn't been there in the past. We certainly know it wasn't there when Nikita Sherbak was on this team, that's for sure. But I digress. Speaking about Nikita Sherbak, though, he's a guy who eventually made his way over back to the KHL after getting some extended time in Los Angeles. There is another Montreal Canadiens player who is apparently on that same track as well, and you know that from the title and the thumbnail of this video. Going back to Andrew Zadarnowski's Twitter feed, he posted this two days ago, Charles Houdon is rumored to be heading to the KHL to play with Barrys in Kazakhstan once his contract with the Montreal Canadiens is up after this season. Hey, so apparently Houdon is gonna leave too. Hold your horses right there though, because immediately after this tweet was published on Twitter, everybody was kind of like, oh, Houdon, man, he was good. He wasn't good enough to play in the NHL, but he was too good for the AHL, so I hope he has a great time in the KHL. Sayonara. But a few hours after, though, Andrew did follow up this tweet by saying that it wasn't really all too true. He regrets posting this as it got to the point where his agent had to issue denials, Andrew says he should have investigated the source a bit better, but of course, you know, nobody is perfect. However, on the subject of Houdon leaving though, this isn't actually the first piece of news that is hinted towards this possibility. We've had articles published through different Montreal French forums and news outlets saying that Charles Houdon is a guy who has legit interest from clubs in the Swiss League as well as other KHL teams. So, in my opinion, if Charles Houdon was going to want to play somewhere where he can be used as a star, he's got to go over to Europe, man. Like, he was so, so good when playing in certain moments throughout the past few years that there is a talent from Charles Houdon that does exist within that frame. There is an ability to play hockey, and at 25 years old, he's going to have some good time to play. But many have noted that he's too good for the AHL, he's not good enough for the NHL, so if he wants a historical hockey season once in a while, he's gonna find that elsewhere. And because of this, and because he's coming up in a contract year, there is reason to believe that NLA or KHL offers could indeed be on the table if Charles Houdon had the option to choose where he wants to go. Obviously, do I want Charles Houdon to leave? Not necessarily. But if Charles Houdon leaves and he becomes one of the best players in the Swiss League in the NLA, then I would be really happy for the guy. I'd be sitting here saying, yes, go over there, play your game, and slay the hockey world of Switzerland. Go do that, Charles Houdin. You deserve success. If that happens in the KHL too, then awesome. It's just, with the Montreal Canadiens forward core shaped up the way it is, with the fact that they have so many players that honestly could just be labeled as third liners, and not too many bona fide top six assets, there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to the Montreal Canadiens forward core. And with the resume that Charles Houdon has had in the past, to me, it's something that I look at and I say, yeah, I don't really know if he's got a long-term future in this city, especially with his contract expiring this offseason. But of course, though, the tweet that Andrew put out earlier said that Houdon was interested in going to Kazakhstan at the KHL, but then he said that he wasn't, and that the agent stepped out and denied those rumors. But because there has been interest expressed over the past calendar year, to me, it's something that you have to consider, which is why we brought it up here in this video today. So, 
Talk in the comments down below, what do you think about Alexei Marchenko and his coming over to Montreal that is suggested by rumors with Alexander Romanov? And what do you think about the long-term future about Charles Rodin? Comment about this in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Social.com, Charles 99. And bye.